Hey everyone, so you have your 48 and its switchboard includes physical ports. Each can be configured with its own IP address or be associated to a virtual switch, either a soft switch or a hardware switch. That is, we are actually creating switches within the physical switchboard. But what is the difference between a soft switch and a hardware switch? Well, the difference is that in soft switch, the implementation itself is done at the software level and not on the hardware level. That is similar to saying, okay, port one, port two, port three, you all belong to a soft switch that we will name it marketing and it will have an IP address of 10.0.0 and so on. In a virtual hardware switch, the implementation is done over the physical ports themselves, where each port, each interface is configured in its hardware level to be a part of the same hardware switch. That is a much superior way to handle traffic and in terms of performance, it makes a huge difference. Now, whenever a traffic enters the switch and it is destined to one of the interfaces that belong to that switch, decisions are made by the physical switch itself, its forwarding table, which is actually the Mac table. All right, so let's configure a hardware virtual switch. All right, so let's move over to our command line. Config system virtual switch. And now if I'll type the get command, uh, I will see that currently I don't have any um, virtual switch already configured. So let's name one. Let's call our virtual switch. Let's call it marketing. And let's um, set it up from the physical switchboard. All right, and now let's config the different ports that will uh, make out this switch. So let's use internal four and let's use internal five also and let's use internal six all right let's get back to our all right so now let's let's use the same command as before config system switch sorry config system virtual switch and let's see if we have a switch that is configured yes we have here's our marketing switch all right now let's refresh our interface pane to see our new virtual switch and there it is now if we will head over to our setting page of that switch we can configure its IP address its management uh, let's let's use uh, LAN 2 as our alias and let's get him an IP address and let's uh, that's right I'm using the same I'm 
let's uh, allow anyone to connect to it using HTTP and HTTPS and let's allow ping also and every every device every appliance that will connect to that subnet will get an IP from its DHCP server And let's also add up device detection. Okay. And there we have it. We have a hardware virtual switch with its own subnet, with its own DHCP server. Any plants that will connect to it will get uh, an IP address from its pool. And any traffic that will head up to one of the interfaces that is within the marketing switch will be forwarded using the uh, forwarding table. 